Welcome to Pavitra Laptop Care. Today we have received a laptop. It's a Lenovo. What are the issue? We will check. The customer complaint is it's a dead. Sometimes display comes, but it won't turn on sometimes. So maximum times it won't turn on. Hmm? Once display comes also, after uh, logo, it will get disappear. See what is the status? It's a model number is G500S. Okay, it's i3, G4 NVIDIA also is there. Okay, uh, what are the condition of this laptop? Ah, see, here somewhere they have given for service. Actually, this person told we need to replace the motherboard and they asked the charges also for new motherboard. Hmm? Okay, customer denied and they uh, took it back and they have given to me. Okay, let me check we can repair it or not. Hmm? First, I will check the condition of this particular laptop. In which condition it is there. See, before doing something, first we need to remove the battery. Okay, this for beginners, I am telling. See, first we need to remove the battery. Next, we will give the supply. And what is the DC condition? First we will check. See, just a, when I connect, so DC is perfect. It's okay. Stand by maybe 3-5 we are getting in this condition. Hmm? Okay. Next, if I turn it on, 300 above 0.25. Okay, no display. See the reading. So again, it's a point zero twenty one, point two five seven. Again, it's flickering. Means it's going to up to three hundred millivolts, and again, sorry, milliamps. It's coming back to point zero two zero amps. Okay. So this is the status of this particular laptop. We will check one by one. We can repair it or not. First, we will check the motherboard condition. Then we will decide it and we will code to the customer. If customer is satisfied with that particular code, then we will proceed it. Now I got the confirmation from the customer. So we will start the work. Okay. Once again, I will check what are the condition of this particular motherboard. So I am turning it on. Let us check the amp rating. So once again it's a 10, 10 is the minimum, here it's a 3, 5 volts is good, okay. And the customer is telling sometimes display you will get, means its whole motherboard is good. See here it's a 0.254 amps, it means it got stuck in somewhere uh, in section of RAM or some other things, but complete section is working because I am able to see here 300 and above. Okay, initially it will come 300 rainbow and after that, so 2-3 times it will try to restart it and after that it will come to 0 0.020. So first in this condition, we need not to do anything, first thing we suspect the bias, okay. First we do the clean me, clean me uh, bias, then we will check the display will come or not, okay. See, here are the some suspect things see the cockroach cockroach also may be the reason for no display because this urine is very very dangerous to the motherboard okay let me check completely i will open this motherboard i will check thoroughly and finally we will take the decision okay here it is see mm, this is the reason this particular motherboard is not turning on properly. See how much rust. Everywhere it got rust. Okay. Fresh cockroach. See the IO condition. 
let me clean this first so then we will proceed see now i have cleaned the motherboard so now once again we will check what are the condition of this motherboard if it is working fine then there is no issues so otherwise we will move forward okay see the amp rating is 0.010 it's still hmm? there is no issue with the amp so now i will press the power button and let's check the display will come or not see it went to 2.275 and reduced to 0.190 or 0.17 something and again it's coming back to 0.020 in this condition board is not turning on but light is glowing okay so it's trying to on it but it couldn't okay so there may be a issue with io or maybe issue with the bias first what are the basics first we will check completely so first we will do the bias see last time i showed you how to do the me cleaning right so now we copied this particular bias here first we will do the me cleaning okay before doing that me cleaning first we confirm which version it has so first me analyzer we have to drag and drop the original file then enter see this one is 8.1 version me 8.1 extracted in this case so i already explained you how to do the clean me so we will start the clean me process firmware me firmware see here i am going to open this me injector so open bias this is the one right no the desktop i kept it that on the desktop here uh, this is the file see it has here is a 8.1 here it's 8.0191 so we will clean it save new bias same path it's a new oil right new over or close this or clean me process got over that one i will check in me so one more i opened your new is saved so this is a new one so new i will check in me analyzer now this also got extracted but it's cleaned me okay both condition it's a clean b because here it's a double one nine one here it's one two four eight let me check this new bin it will work it or not okay see now we did clean me so after clean me what is the position of this particular motherboard let me check so i'm giving the supply dc supply now i'm going to turn on this what's the result see the result is same the same amp is it's taking and coming down to 0.020 see one time two time it started third time hmm? there is no display fourth time again it came and it went and again it come to the point 179 so finally it came and sit at 0.020 amp guys clean me over no use so now the time to put the new bias okay after that what it behaves i mean what the result it gives depends on that we will move forward see now actually what i did i did only clean me then i checked there was no changes uh, now i did completely new bias 
okay we are coming from the main bias so let me check what is the result now I'll, i will connect this supply let me check the dc so new bias completely new bias it's a 10 same amp so now i'm going to start see the amp it's the same result but no display okay the same amp it's taking and it's coming to 0 0.020 so now there is no luck for new bias now finally we will check the io bias okay we will do the io bias and let us check our luck now i am doing ec bias see this ec programmer now that also got over it's success okay let me check after uh, done this ec bias it will work or not okay after ec bias what will be the result let us check see i have connected here now i'll turn it on see the same result there is no improvement in this motherboard okay now what uh, a common technician will do those things i showed you in case of no display or once display comes and after that it disappears okay now the actual work will start now i will tell you what are the things you have to do first and then it will be success i mean we will get the success in this particular uh, uh, things or not that later we will check see guys so what a technician will do all the things i did and i showed you what will be the result okay i did main bias main bias clean me and after that i changed the main bias and then i did the ec bias then also there will be no result the result will be the same then finally i did something so after that it will give display or not let us check first and then if it is success definitely i will tell you what are the section i checked and what are the things i did okay i'll give the supply see i am going to give check the dc amp 10 okay now i'm triggering this see the amp before what it was it was exactly it was going to 300 or 200 something and again it was coming to 190 or something millivolts right milliamps here now it's 0 0.811 milliamps sorry 0 0.811 amp ampere is there okay approximate 800 or 820 milliamps hmm? now in this condition we will get the display or not see i took a keyboard here I'll connect this and let me check the display shows or not. See, connected here. Now you see the num lock. What it means? It's giving display. Means here it got success. So it's not turning off. It's continuously giving the display. Right. Okay, anyway. I will connect the main display and I will show you now. See, now connected to the main display. Okay. Now we will get the display or not and immediately it will go or not that we will check thoroughly. See, before what was the issue? Just he will get the logo and immediately it will disappear. Sometimes it shows and immediately it disappears and completely blank screen and only you can hear the fan sound that only customer told okay so after that one more technician has told motherboard needs to be replaced now what is the status we will check now okay after then the repair work from our end now i connected check the dc amp now i will turn it on see before it was coming only uh, 0. Point, uh, what is that 180 190 something right so first it will show 300 i mean uh, 0. 300 and again it will get reduced now what is the result no button came 
now normal start see started see the amp it's not decreasing right it means it's working fine maybe hard disk has uh, got corrupt okay again we'll restart it and one more thing we need to observe here so they have used here ddr3l actually this motherboard will support ddr3 hmm? there i am only i put we are getting the display <coughs> We will put DDR3 also. Okay. The main result is the display continuously working. There is no issue with the display. If you uh, reinstall the operating system, it will work properly. See, till now it's working fine. There is no issue. Issue with only the operating system and the RAM. RAM we need to replace it. Okay, guys. Now I will tell you. how we rectified this problem hi guys everyone are very interested to know what the result how we got the display in this particular case study right see here is the schematic hmm? here the state it has given s4 s5 stage 1.5 vtt and 0.75 will be off condition okay when you press the power button that initially no display will be there no in that condition we call it as s3 that condition the ram voltage when you press the power button ram voltage should be there here vtt and everything will come next when display you will get all will be in active mode right this is the condition first you come to know what are the condition ram condition see when we resolved this particular case the problem was no display and one any one time it will come the display and it will disappear that is a customer complaint right so after that you won't get any kind of display only fan space when we observed the motherboard so many cockroach damage were there after that what we did we cleaned all the motherboard then completely it turned as no display so the amp rating was point 191 something in the trench right 185 190 milliamps after that first thing you have to observe is the ram ram voltage you are getting or not that we have to check see when i checked the ram section it was giving beep when we press the power button okay that s3 stage it was giving the beep digital beep not normal ground beep when you disconnect the power supply then there was no beep in the ram coil this is the hint it means ram section is okay but somewhere it's going to the ground so digital ground okay next what i did for this it should not damage some other parts uh, what that a processor or some other things in that for that condition here is the jumper pj 504 505 and one more it's a 506 three jumpers for that first i disconnect the jumper when i remove the jumper then the ram output and some other input was disconnected okay once we press the power button we should get the ram voltage but for us when i disconnect this one and when i press the power button here this plus 1.5 vp was completely zero see not done it was completely zero it was short with the ground how it was possible that we supposed to think first thing is we disconnected all the things second thing is it's completely zero so we supposed to check the input section right first i checked this sp ash and sisan both were good means here 3.3 and 3.2 we were getting approximately 3 volts in this s3 and s5 inputs enable then also the particular section the phase section was going to the uh, earthing means it was short 
so in next which section we have to suspect once ic get the input to uh, sections input section in the sense it was getting 3 volts and 5 volt section all were good 3 and 5 were good okay then also it was giving the beep input is okay and what are the enables s3 and s5 both are okay see once you get the s5 you will get 1.5 vp then next if you get this s5 enable then you will get this 0.75 vsp right this is the logic of this particular ram section but we were unable to get 0.75 or 1.5 instead of 1.5 we were getting beep completely zero impedance how from where it was coming so here is the trick everyone going to replace this particular IC because it has some issues but I not did like that first I observed here so what are the face is connected with the ground see one is capacitor here polar capacitor that's connected to the ground this polar was good there is no shot next my suspect was here but here before this one, uh, one register will be there but it's at both were not there next suspect is what are the input comes from here and it was going to the ground right so here completely this part we are getting ground then my suspect component was this one because input is okay 3 volts 5 volts is okay and here we were getting sys1 and suspect uh, susp then also we are getting grown so then what i did i i checked this particular low mosfet this one also was good i removed and checked then also it was good so again the same mosfet i put the same position okay resoldered it okay i resoldered it is no down i resoldered it which one was connecting with the ground and then in cold test i checked all the things so it was good then i gave the supply then finally i got the result 1.5 volts see what i did i simply removed and i put the same mosfet back then finally i got this because my suspect was here it was giving ground that one i put a knowledge and i removed this ic because only this mosfet was connecting the ground so when i got this then definitely i will get all the sections that i kept it in my mind and then i connected these jumpers when i turned the motherboard on this s3 and s5 was good so till now it's working fine only thing is operating system has corrupted so that we need to take care of those things till now it's running okay see this is the some tricks where exactly we have to check the components if you know this if you have some knowledge of this so definitely you can solve the motherboard without any waste of amount or waste of time right so if you want to learn, if you want to be a part of PLC, you are welcome. You can join our course. We have online and as well as offline courses uh, and uh, schematic reading in YouTube. You can go to the join only for 299 rupees per month. You can learn the schematic and what are the uh, graphics conversions or what are the 19 volt section short, everything you can easily remove by reading the schematic those tricks you can go to uh, i mean those tricks you can learn in youtube section if you want directly all the sections so you can join our online course thank you thank you very much